you feel like your mix midi pieces are still lacking your own personal style and you would like to develop it, let me share with you my own practical tips that helped me to work on developing my own style. First step is to photograph the steps of your own process. You might think that you'll remember that it's easy because you are doing it. But the truth is that sometimes we get really carried away and we forget what we've done before. I once created a series of little canvases. Uh, I was painting flowers and I really loved the way they looked. I've done it in one day and I was really happy with myself. So next day I was hoping that I can do it again. I can continue and make maybe two more of these canvases with these lovely uh, translucent layers. And to be honest, I found out that I completely forgot how I started. Where did that process go? I had no idea. So I was really regretting that I didn't take pictures during the process. So from that time on, I am always taking pictures, especially when I'm working on some new techniques. Take a picture with your phone. It doesn't have to be really amazing. It's not for showing uh, to anyone. It's just for yourself. So you remember what you've done and you can repeat it because you'll quickly find out that your style is a sequence of steps that you repeat almost every time, maybe slight in a slightly different way, but uh, there must be some coherence to be able to call it a style. My second tip, is to scan your page at different stages. If you are working in uh, our journal, for example, something that can be scanned. Uh, so scan it after, for example, every two layers of paint or a few steps, save it on your computer. And then when you can print it out in color and use uh, as your pattern papers to start another page, you'll quickly find out that it really helps, that it brings lots of your own character, your own style to your next project. So scan your work at different stages and print it out in color. Third tip will be to avoid buying patent papers. You don't really need them, to be honest. I know sometimes you have to buy, I have to buy, because they're just so pretty and you want to have them. But very often you can just make them yourself and they will have so much more character. Just like scanning and printing them out, you can also make your own papers. Then don't forget to use it on your next pieces. You are going to love it because no one else will be ever able to have papers like these. These will be completely yours, so do it. And my fourth, but I think really most important tip is to do it regularly. If you're doing journaling, do it regularly. Painting and canvases, do it regularly. Don't let your muse, you know, just disappear somewhere and never come back. Do it regularly. Set yourself some goal, maybe at least once a week or maybe every day if you're really brave. But this will help you develop your own style very much because you will practice the sequence of your own steps because you will quickly find out what are your favorite techniques, what are your favorite tools and products and effects. And you will find yourself repeating them. And this is how you really create your own style. So just go for it, do it regularly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for some more tips. And if you already developed your own style and you have some practical tips for others, then why won't you share in the comments form below?